Hey guys, it's Theo. Have you ever watched the show and thought to yourself, wow, that character is pretty awesome. I wish I was more like them. And I'm not talking about superpowers or abilities that you wish you could have to make your life easier. I'm talking about personality traits, the way they speak or present themselves, confidence, and probably a bunch more that I cannot list right now. If not, please continue watching because I'm gonna tell you why you should probably start thinking like that. In my last 26 years I had a bunch of characters I admired and that I looked up to. Some were from cartoons, some were from movies and some from series and mostly isn't really anime and mangas I read. But what are role models? Just like a model represents an inspirational idea, a role model is someone who inspires others to imitate their good behavior. Let me give you some examples. At least most parents try to be a good role model for their children, or most common a famous person who gives the money to children or sick people. If someone behaves badly, you could say that they are a negative or bad role model. The kind of person who shouldn't be imitated. Growing up, I had a couple of characters I wanted to become. Some of them, like Eric Northman from True Blood, didn't really get me that far, because the only thing I got hooked on was the idea of being able to speak Swedish, which I didn't achieve. But others have changed my life in a significant way. Let me give you an example. One of my favorite mangas for a long time was Skippy. Now, while I don't want to get too much into the story, the main character Kyoko had me realize a bunch of things while reading. She was kind of portrayed as a naive but kind girl that was living for the people around her to accept and love her until she got betrayed by the person that meant most to her and kind of turned 180 degrees. After that, she kind of spent all her energy on getting revenge on that person and had to slowly relearn how to love herself and accept being loved by others. Now, while I had kind of a deeper understanding of her situation, what fascinated me the most was her amazing strength, her humor and the ability to adapt to a different situation. It kind of felt like there was nothing she was bad at and that she could achieve anything if she worked towards it. Kyoko was actually one of the reasons I started doing the Japanese martial arts Bujinkan for the first time, which ended up saving me from a pretty depressive phase I was in. So trying to be more like her helped me overcome difficulties in life and kind of brought me where I am today. But usually I end up picking up smaller things. My most recent favorite character, Jiun Ban from See My Nineteenth Life, not sure if I pronounce her name or the show's name right, really made me think about being more straightforward and honest to the people around me, especially with the people I love. There are actually a ton more characters, but I don't want to drag this video too long. If you're not much of an anime person, please go and watch Peaceful Warrior. Cinematically speaking, it's probably not one of the most amazing movies, but it did really make an impact on my teenage mind. And the things they taught me are still following me to this day. How can you use this? I want to show you how you can effectively use those characters. Assumingly, you already have a personal character in your mind. These three steps will help you get closer to that goal. What about your role? model makes them special. You need to first understand the qualities that make your role model special and decide which of those qualities you want to emulate. Do this by thinking about their most iconic moments or the moment they sparked your interest. Now, how might you use your model? By asking yourself which moment you immediately think of when reflecting, you're really asking yourself what moments are most important to you. This will help you identify what kind of qualities you want to gain. Why do you admire this quality? This is the part most of us get confused about. To create any meaningful change in our life, we have to honestly reflect and understand ourselves on a deeper level. Ask yourself how your life would change if you emulate a certain quality of your role model. Maybe you want to be more charismatic, because right now you're struggling to communicate your thoughts and capture other people's interests. But why do you feel like that? Maybe it's because you're shy. And shyness usually comes from insecurity. So what exactly are you insecure about and how could you change that? The goal here is to understand your fundamental motivations to becoming your role model and how deeply those changes actually need to go. How do you make this change every day? The number one mistake we all make is setting our goals way too big. Rather than seeing it as a big thing, where you walk and talk and imitate that person, you should instead try to understand the character trait, the qualities you admire and want to emulate, and put them to work every day. Another huge 
benefit of this approach is that you can have as many role models as you want. You can have one for work ethics, one for strategy and another one for social skills. Just remember that the main goal isn't to become all those characters, but to use them as a way to understand yourself better and ultimately to affect real changes in your life. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and I will see you all next week. Ciao!